Welcome to Horridge in Lancashire, the home of Rivington Pike Fellows. Organised by Horridge Harriers Athletics Club. This traditional short race up Rivington Pike is very popular amongst runners from different running clubs, even coming from as far as the Lake District. It's also popular amongst junior fell runners as well. Junior fell races start before the senior fell races. There are five age categories, under 9, under 11, under 13, under 15 and under 17 children. Come on Adam! Well done Adam! Brilliant! Hello, today is the 30th of March, Saturday before Easter and we came to Rivington area in Lancashire to do a little bit of what fill race? Um, I don't know. <laughs> Rivington, Rivington Hill, Rivington Park fill race. Olivia's getting over her cold now. It's not ideal for her to run, but it's alright. So the junior races are in this, starting from this foresty area, but the adult races are starting from Crown Pub further down in Horridge. The junior races distance depends on the children's age category. Olivia is in under 15 age category even though she is 12 years old. The adult race, senior race, is about 3 miles with only approximately 600 feet elevation and it goes up P Rivington Pike with this Beautiful castle at the top. I'm really looking forward to this race. The club who organises this race, Porridge Harriers Athletics Club, was celebrating 100 years anniversary of their club existing. So this race this year is quite special to them. The junior races start and the registration was in the Woodlands area at the foot of the Rivington Pike. I'm going to show a footage from the junior races first of what I've managed to film. Then at 9 minutes 50 seconds of this video we'll move on to the senior races. This is David Wood, an amazing Yorkshire photographer who always takes brilliant pictures of children and adults during races. The under 11 children are all lined up at the start line, ready to set off. Look at this lovely dog spectating in comfort. Under 9 and under 11 children's presentation was straight after they finished their race. Yeah. Our Billy was third under 11 boy. And these are some more of our Preston Harriers juniors. And now the under 13's children's race is underway. They're running halfway up to the Rivington Pike, up to the cattle grid and then they're turning around and running back down. Well done. Well done. At this point I ascended up the hill to the top of Rivington Pike while watching the juniors racing. I particularly wanted to see how the older juniors, under 17 and under 15 children, will be racing to the top of the hill. These are under 13 children descending. Unfortunately, I didn't film all well of done. them, just some of them. 
under 13 children set off already. I left Olivia there in that woodland area. She's running with under 15 children and under 17 children are running with them as well. They're going all the way up to Rivington Pike. So I'm just walking up high up a bit to watch her there. And I'm also worried that I won't be able to make it to my race in time because my race is uh, it's not the same start as the junior race so it's going to be a tight push to make it in time and to even get my number I haven't even got my number yet that's Angles Arc Reservoir there this place is also very popular amongst the mountain bikers and here I got to the top of Rivington Pike to watch the older juniors we have Johnny from North Leeds and Dave also from North Leeds. Come and checking out the route. I bet you've done it before, haven't you? Oh, I've been up here. Oh, okay. Well, it's nice to go for a walk before, isn't it? It's a bit early, especially. Yeah. <laughs> to acclimatise as well, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Work out. Johnny's got to work out which shoes he's going to wear. All right. Here they come, the older juniors, and this is the first oh, no. under 17 boy floating up the hill. Then they run around the top and then run back down the same way. Look at the beautiful view opening up onto Horridge and Bolton. My daughter Olivia was still getting over her illness that day. She wasn't feeling too strong, so she was running very slowly. After the junior races had finished, we dashed down into Horridge Town to the Crown Hotel pub so I could register and receive my number. I entered online beforehand 
but there were still some entries on the day. In fact, there was a long queue to enter on the day, and even some people sadly didn't manage to get on. As I mentioned earlier, this traditional short race at Rivington Pike and Back is very popular with all sorts of runners, and especially in the year of Horwich Harriers Hello. Club 100th anniversary. This is Rochdale, Rochdale. See that? Let's walk around the area of the start line and look at some runners. There's Holcomb Moor. We have Holcomb Moor. Achilleratis. Oh, there's loads of porridge all over Look how many. Loads. That's their race. Loads of porridge. Why? Oh, yeah. That's put. Oh, no! Oh, look here! So grown up now! Woo. There's our Antonio here, hello, ready to run. Hello. Saying hello to everyone. Hello, everyone. Hello. <laughs> Your daughter's grown a lot. I know, she's taller than me she now. Little, I know. Little. What's that for? <laughs> Um, Tracker. Andy taught me to do. Oh, cool. What else? <laughs> yeah, that's my favourite. I always have a song, Our House in the Middle of Our Street, to that one. This is where all the clubs are grouping together before the start and taking pictures of each other. We also took some pictures with our Preston Harriers people and other runners. There weren't many of us, but we still enjoyed the day. Go! Woo! And off we go. The race is only three miles long. It goes up Rivington Pike and back down the same way. Before the start of the race, next to the race director and the mayor stood John Wilde, the race record holder. His time is 15.53. He set this record in 1981, 43 years ago, and no one has been able to beat him ever since. Today, £750 was promised to any winner who would break the men's or ladies' course record. The former mayor of Horwich, Gordon Stone, of 2019 to 2021, was running in this race too. I will now insert a short conversation with the current and the former mayor of Horwich. Oh, we have two former. Former? Yeah. One from. 2019 to 2021. Okay, that's a mayor of Horridge from 2019 to 2021. And that's the current mayor of Horridge. What's your name? David Graham. David Graham, and that's Gordon Stone. Stone. Oh, nice to meet you guys. Let's continue the footage now. I make this type of videos as little documentaries of the events. So people who take part in these races could look back at themselves or at the route. Sometimes the friends and relatives of the runners like to look at this type of footage or people who would like to take part in these events in the future. My race videos have a very specific audience. I'm not trying to attract a wider audience because it would be strange for people who were not in any way related to what's going on just to watch random people run. I guess what I'm trying to say is that even though these videos are in public domain, this footage is only relevant to a very narrow niche of people. That's why I never ask wider audience to subscribe. Even though this race is called a fell race, it's not very felly. Most of the route is on the hard surface. It's just more of a traditional dash up a hill and back race from a pub where the top of the hill is visible. By the way, that's exactly how fell running has started in England, when the Lake District guides in the 19th century were racing each other up the hill and back. 
In those days, people used to bet on the winner. So because they would get the winning money, those runners used to be classed as professionals. Nowadays, fell running is non-profit sport. With fell running associations, one of the main principles is not making profit out of the race fees. Quite often, fell race organizers give away some of the money raised from the entry fees to the local charities or mountain rescue. Fell races are integral part of local rural communities. Thank you. Thanks. And this is where we eventually turned off the road into the mud. And one of the ladies, as you will see further on in the footage, lost her shoe in the mud. That's Gordon Stone, the former mayor of Horwich. First former mayor of Horwich, guys. Ah! Hope it's summertime. Well, ladies, I love the marshals. I know. This is Joe Stewart from South of Harriers, the first finisher already running down.
done. I'm done wheel. I'm Johnny! Line. <laughs> Quite cool to watch. I'm oh. done, Tom. I'm done, Steve. Thank you. Well done. Well done, Bill. Hi Steve, I yeah. think I went the wrong way again. Are they supposed to be there?
going to hill on the right hand side. Well done Hillary. Thanks ladies! Okay, that's a mayor of Horridge from 2019 to 2021, and that's the current mayor of Horridge. What's your name? David Graham. David Graham, and that's Gordon Stone. Oh, nice to meet you guys. Okay, this is the first person. What's your name? Joe Stewart. Joe Stewart. Do you know your time? Oh well, yeah, I'm all good. <laughs> Do you know your time? Uh, it was 16, 30 something I think. Did you beat the record? No, I didn't. Oh, well still you were, you had such a massive, massive lead. Well yeah. done. Thank you very when much. How did you find it? I was like going up and it's like, phew, you were like a rocket. <laughs> well done, brilliant. Cheers, thank you. It was such a gorgeous day today. I didn't stay for the presentation though because we were out for too long already with Olivia and we had to go home. It was a beautiful, beautiful springy day. Even felt very summery. These are the first three male winners, and these are the first three female winners of the race. <laughs> 